What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. We've got another gear testing video today for you. And what we're actually gonna be doing is we're gonna be testing some BCD mists. And what are those mists? Well, if you dive, say, a backplate wing or a back inflate system in general, you may have heard the myth that at the surface, since all the flotations here at the back, that they tend to tilt you forward. So we're gonna test that myth and see if a back inflate system actually tilts you forward at the surface. Another myth that we're gonna be testing is with a jacket style BCD, and one of the reasons that people choose back plate wings or back and flake systems is they claim that it gives you better trim when you're actually underwater because with that flotation in the back, it kind of forces you in that horizontal position. And with a jacket style, since the air cell wraps all the way around the BC, you don't really have that benefit of being perfectly neutrally buoyant underwater. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can get trimmed out with a jacket style BCD to where we're in that horizontal position. We're also gonna be doing a few skills when we do this. So we're gonna be maybe taking our mask on and off or shooting an SMB and see if we can hold that perfect neutrally trimmed position while wearing that jacket style BCD. Now a couple of rules that we're gonna stick by today. Since I am using a steel back plate wing with the back plate and all the steel rings I've got on this particular system, it comes in around that six pound heavy mark. So since I have six pounds of balance weight on here, I'm gonna go with six pounds of weight in this system too to try to keep this test very consistent. We're gonna be using the exact same tank for both systems, so we're not gonna really change anything there. Because like I said, we're gonna see if that thing tilts me forward at the surface, and we're gonna see if this guy will let me stay horizontally trimmed underwater. One final note here is, is I'm not gonna be able to really manipulate weights outside of the way the manufacturers allowed me to do it. Simply put, since this guy has weight pouches in the front and in the back, I'm only gonna be utilizing those weight pouches. So if you saw our video on how to trim out properly, we talked about shifting your uh, tank forward or backwards, and we even talked about putting some weights on cam straps to help trim you out a little bit better. We're not gonna be doing none of that. We're actually gonna be using the system the way it's designed specifically by the manufacturer. So if I do have trim pouches back here, that's fine because they're designed to be used, but I won't be putting any extra weight anywhere on the BC that it doesn't really need to be. So let's jump in the water and we'll see how this comes out. And I've already got a pretty good idea since these are my systems, so I know how they're gonna work in the water. But I want you guys to see it as well. Like I said, we're here to bust some mist tonight and see if I can stay perfectly horizontally trimmed in a jacket and let's also see if I'm gonna float forward or lean forward while wearing a back inflate system. So let's jump in the water and I'll give you some final thoughts at the end. All right guys, so this is gonna be a really simple test. All I've gotta do is just stay vertical here at the surface. As you can see, I'm wearing a back plate and wing. There's not very much movement at all. Um, and I'm staying still, I'm not laying forward. Here's you an underwater shot of it, just showing you that I'm just chilled out, I'm relaxing. So in my opinion, is this myth busted that a back inflate or back plate and wing floats you forward? Well, let's see. All right, guys, during this test, I'm going to be testing out to see if I can stay horizontally trimmed in the water while wearing a jacket style BCD. And as you can tell, I'm just simply flutter kicking here. I'm swimming through the water column. This is something that all divers do. We move through the water column. And I will be using different kick patterns here as well just to see if I can stay horizontally trimmed. If you remember our trim video that we did, I talked about extending your arms out bringing your legs up to help kind of manipulate your trim in the water so i want to use different kick patterns as well here i've switched over to the frog kick and as you can see i'm still staying within that 15 degree angle which is about that maximum angle that you want to be at uh, while you're in the water column to make sure your breathing is the most efficient make sure you have an open airway and to uh, eliminate the most drag possible but as you can tell guys i'm not having any issues here whatsoever staying horizontally trim in the water column whether I'm flutter kicking or even if I'm frog kicking. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually switch over and do a couple of skills here. And we tried to pick skills that were very disorienting to the uh, new student, if you will, such as taking your mask on and off. As you can see, I'm taking my mask off. I'm still horizontally trimmed. I'm not having any issues whatsoever. I'm going to replace my mask. I'm going to clear it and still no issues. I'm not going vertical when I do this. I don't have to kneel down when I can do this. So I'm not having any issues whatsoever. Whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and do an air donate drill. This is what, of course, you would do if your buddy ran out of air. So I can switch regulators. I can donate air. Still no trouble whatsoever.
whatsoever. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and remove and replace my equipment underwater. Of course, this skill is designed to be used, say, if you got a leak or you hear something behind you. Maybe your tank does need to be adjusted in one way, shape, or form. I can still stay horizontally trim even without my equipment on very easily. I can fix the problem. And even going to put my equipment back on, as you can tell, my body stays in that horizontally trimmed out position, that, that diving position that we all want to strive for. No issues whatsoever removing and replacing gear here. Um, so do I think that the myth in general, uh, as far as a back inflate or back plate and wing system is better as far as keeping you trimmed out in the water column no of course i don't believe that because as you can see here i'm not having any issues as well now i'm going to end this skill set here with a horizontal ascent wearing a jacket style system just to show you that it can be done i'm going to come up at the average ascent rate which is about a foot every two seconds and show you no matter where you're at lake a quarry a spring maybe in the ocean you can make a horizontal ascent slowly of course no faster than a foot every two seconds even while wearing a jacket style bcd so i'm gonna let you finish watching this and then i'll let you decide whether you think the myth is busted but in my opinion do i think the myth of a jacket style bcd will not allow you to get horizontally trimmed out in a water column well here's my opinion All right, guys, so here's my final thoughts. In my opinion, the myth of a back inflate floating you forward or a jacket style unable to uh, get you properly trimmed out in the water are both myths. I will give you some pointers in the matter. If you dive a back inflate system where you just simply transition to a back plate and wing system and you're having that issue with it rolling you forward, you don't really have to shift your tanks or go to a heavier tank or put trim pouches to help roll you back. There's two things that you can do to help stay vertical. First of all, lay back and relax. If your body's relaxed, you're in that nice, relaxed uh, mode, you're going to be vertical. There's just no way around it. Just because that air cell is back here, it's not going to typically roll you forward. All you've got to do is relax. Number two, I see a lot of new divers put way too much air in their BCD at the surface. You know, that little inflator button that we have, we never have to completely hold that thing down until our pop-off valve starts going on our BC. You need just enough air to say keep from the bottom of your neck up out of water. Your shoulders and everything else do not have to be out of the water, just from about the bottom of your neck up. So when you're adding air at the surface, unless it's at an emergency situation, don't put too much air in because on a back inflate system, if you over inflate your BCD, yes, it will tend to roll you forward, but with the right amount of air in there, not being overweighted and simply laying back and relaxing, you too can be vertical at the surface with a back plate wing or back inflate system. Now moving over to the jacket style BCD, as you can see, I was able to swim horizontally trim in the water column. I was able to hover in the water column. I was able to do my skill sets and we tried to pick skills that are a little disorienting to new divers such as removing and replacing your weights, taking your mask on and off, just to show you that you know, even with that jacket style system that a lot of people claim will not allow you to get horizontally trimmed, I had absolutely no issues staying horizontally trimmed. I finish up this skill set too with a horizontal ascent just to show you that even in a jacket system, you can make a horizontal ascent all the way to the surface. And of course I did it with ease. But guys, I hope you liked this video. If you got any questions, let me know down in the comment section below about a new video maybe that you would like to see or a new topic. And if you got any comments on this video, let me know as well. I really enjoy reading your comments. Guys, your supports mean the world to us. Every time you watch a video and you comment, you are actually supporting us more than you can imagine, and we truly appreciate that. But guys, I had a lot of fun making this video, and I definitely appreciate you uh, watching it. If you liked it, do me two favors. Hit that like button and definitely share it as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.